stake a claim on KOF 14. Mm -hmm. you know, on the top eight right now, you saw what a lot of them could do yesterday. You know, the one person that I'm looking forward to to see, mm -hmm. the American hero, <laughs> oh, Eli Joe. Oh. I'm sorry, I have to give this man oh. his due proper. You know, he came out yesterday. It was a shock to me to find out that he was as interested in KOF 14 yes. as he is. And then he breaks out those vice combos. Yeah. Again, if you were watching yesterday, I'm pretty sure that you can very vividly remember Sway and my reaction to the Joe combo. <laughs> you know, and to be able to see what Joe is capable of doing. But again, at the same time, we have to stay very, very alert because we have El Rosa, we have Isia, we have Lazy Freddy. You know, again, these guys, they're just sitting there, floating around, waiting for their opportunity. And when it actually goes down, oh, Lord. The battles, I'll tell you. There was a lot of emotion in it. There was a lot of hype. And there was a lot of salt. A lot of seasoned KOF players did not want Eli Joe to win. So this is actually going to be like defending their turf here. And we're going to go straight in here. Uh, obviously, uh, El Rosa on the right, first player, and Wise Guy on the left. Of course, as I said before, bef uh, while this, they were playing casuals, I'm going to I think, no, I was guys player too, so I'm sorry. Yes, no problem. As again, I'm going to explain to you a lot of basics when it comes to KOF and also right. the mechanics here. Uh, again, we've only been getting, we've only gotten a full copy just recently right here today, uh, this week, this weekend. So it's going to be a little bit, a uh, little shoddy for me. And if you guys have any other questions, again, please feel free to ask Luffy or ask me as well. By all means. So anyways, we do have El Rosa here playing Billy Diamond, and he's got a Robert. He didn't wow. pull out the, the Ramon, it seems. And he did mention that he didn't want to play Ramon anymore. Really? Uh, well, he wanted to play other characters, especially this character. He's actually known for Billy in KOF 13, and that's actually going to kill. So obviously, as you saw there, yes. that's eight. That's called max mode. Uh, for the use of one meter, you actually can actually activate max mode from a string or just raw. Unlike HD meter, where you could just do complete drive cancels over and over, what max mode does is that it enables you to have EX mode for a lot for a small duration of time, as long as you're active in max mode. Correct. So you can have EX mode all the time. But of course, every time you use EX mode, you actually drain a bit um, a bit of the meter. For a, a few simple, a few other things to note for Max Mode is that it depends on the position. How long it stays is uh, depends on the position. So, for example, Billy is on the first position, right? So, or Max Mode only lasts one thousand. Yeah, that when it, it only lasts a short amount. Of time. When it comes to the second character, it goes for twelve fifty, and if you have an anchor character, it goes for fifteen hundred. That's right. And the other thing to note, as you notice there, you see how small her Max Mode meter is, even though she's on the second position. Now, the thing, the thing is, if you hit it raw, without doing any strings, you get the full meter. But if you actually hit it during a block string, you only get half of the meter. It's just to prevent as much damage scaling, because, you know, obviously HD mode in 13 was a ridiculous amount of combos over and over. Oh, yes. And see that? Oh, she only has half meter. So again, nice. Once she goes into the activation, you have to make it count. Exactly. Because so if you drop a combo when it comes to max mode, mm -hmm. that's going to be a huge liability. You're going to be pretty much begging for a punishment right there. Now, if you also notice, for Diamond, he has four meters. That's a huge change from KOF in every other KOF game. You automatically gain one meter for character. Doesn't matter if you had zero to begin with, you will always get one meter. And that's a huge, huge, huge change from other games because you have access to an to, you know, to advantage, to some sort of advantage, even if the, uh, the winner has zero. So Diamond, he hasn't changed much since the older games. Nope. The uh, only major difference is, again, the OTG super oh. that he was given. He tried to initiate it there, yeah. did not work. But again, El Rosa stepping forward with his Diamond over Wise Guy. So classic KOF, level ones do not really carry that much invincibility or anything of the sort. So obviously he got, he got snuffed right there. Okay, so here we go again. Now, unfortunately, Wise Guy, nice anti-air from Wise Guy, but he's unfortunately only in his last character. Oh, Ooh. gonna go for a max mode cancel. Right there. But chances are, knowing Wise Guy, he's well aware of knowing the situation. He wants to save as much meter as possible for Rosa's Robert. Well, he could definitely kill here with just two meters. He just has to be able to... Oh, that was actually the activation there as well. Uh, that's another big thing for max mode cancel. Unlike HD cancel in the older games, this is actually easier to play. It's actually easier to activate and to also connect. You just have to take it slower this time around. Okay. Finally, the wise go. guy gets it. Stayed solid, stayed you know calm as possible, trying to you know not be uh, too, not tr try not to overextend in right. this case. Okay, so now here comes Arosa's Robert. Now Robert has gotten 
substantially, you know, more effective Ooh. in this game. I don't want to say better because Robert was always good, but he's definitely more effective mm -hmm. with the way that the new system is being implemented in this game. Hey, you should say he looks like Orlando Bloom now. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Never so, going to not say that either. So as you know, it's like, now, I mentioned this before. Robert right. was actually good in the older games. It's just unfortunately that other players, other characters were just better. Right. Robert here is good all across the board. Yes. He's going to play well into a lot of characters, especially because this, this game is very fundamental heavy, yes. as far as I can see. Ooh. But it doesn't Those even level two. matter. It's level two, dead. Uh, call him the tiger for a reason, baby. Mm -hmm. Don't right. smile. Don't look at Don't talk to him. Okay. Look at all right, so again, good oh, news. No. Oh, 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 the headphones. Oh, God, this is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so again, just simple trading of notes there. Nothing wrong with that. Good show with sports. Oh, there's everything wrong with that. Oh, yeah. It's top eight. <laughs> SDSFN, I can't really. Save that uh, stuff <laughs> for nationals. Yeah. Right. All right. So we're going right back into it. El Rosa on the board first. Wise guy starting off with his point. So K Dash is definitely one of those characters who have gotten ridiculously better yes. since compared to 13. Uh, he's definitely, if you saw that, he actually snuffed the crap out of uh, out of uh, Billy's uh, jumping, I think, CD. It looked like. But again, here, this is not where Wise Guy wants to be, especially going up against Billy. Because as soon as Billy gets a little bit of meter, he's going to break out that EX combo. And you don't want to be on the receiving end of Billy's EX combo. Oh, beautiful team. blocks. And you also notice that the, the blowback now. Standing CD actually does a wall bounce. Right. All right, nice. And now K-Dash. Leaves you in the crumple state as well. Oh. Here it comes. This is going to hurt. Doesn't have any enough meter anyways, but he's going to get the reset here. All right. Now, K Dash actually now has two new follow ups for the trigger. So he actually has it for every single button now. But unfortunately, it's kind of difficult to use. It gets the full point. Oh, no, it doesn't get anything. Yeah. To the window, to the wall. <laughs> All right. So again, Rosa getting over on Wise Guy's K Dash. But here comes Vice. Now, Vice definitely has to come in. But I don't. El Rosa is definitely going to try and keep the spacing here as much as possible. Gonna go in. Oh. Wow, he's just going Ooh, in. All right. The button's getting pressed here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so El Rosa demonstrating that he's, he, he does feel a little bit threatened by uh, Vice by trying to keep that space right there. Nice. Right, and again, wise move earlier from a wise guy there. Mm -hmm. Being a little bit conservative with the meter, knows there's not much of a reason to you know, break it out too soon. Besides, you got the wall coming up right now. You know, the tank. Oh. Oh, Ooh. tried to go for a command grab there, but didn't get anything. Oh, that was also a max gold punch. Oh, wise guy kind of not Ooh. being able to do his confirms right here. Gets a command grab. Safe jump setup. No. Oh my god. Oh, did he get anything close. off of it? Unfortunately, too close, he's still man. in the corner. You're too close. <laughs> back it up. Wise guy, right, still get him. Oh, oh, just out of range. Then he gets nice. the air super. Nice follow up. Wise guy. Oh, he's going to hit something off of here. Ooh. Nothing. Safe jump setup. Nothing. Oh, Ooh, trying to go for an overhead again. And he gets the OTG. <laughs> He's done. Oh, my That's God. Yeah, just so close. But again, Instant over. jumping D, all it takes. Okay. So, Rosa still on its hair. Yep. So, and again, mind you, still only on the shell character. Robert is waiting in the wings. Still has a chance. Mm. He does have three meters. If he just Ooh, doesn't pull stuff like that, that, that was definitely a, uh, a bad input. Yeah. He meant to do fireball there for sure. Nice standing D. The Ori as safe as possible. Hard right. knockdown. What do you got? Ooh, oh, nice. Over oh, oh, does it go? He, goes, he activates it. Wrong input. Fortunately, wise guy. He just doesn't have the hit confirms, it seems. Standing CD. He's, he just needs one hit. Just needs one hit. Good hit. That's one punch man. Hit him. Give him the Saitama wise guy. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Gets that one hit in. Oh my god. But at the same time, he still needs to be, you know, aware. Still needs to be alert. Here comes a, an anchor robber. Definitely, definitely stay on the P's and Q's wise guy. So let's see what El Rosa has here. Okay, right. that was. I'm not entirely sure if that's safe, uh, so I'm, we're gonna have to test it out eventually once the release comes out. Oh, nice. Yeah, what do you is. got? He's gonna go for it. Finish it off with yeah. style, boy. Yeah. Not dead yet. Wise guy uh, still has a chance. Four meters. Exactly. Forty-eight seconds of the clock. He's got a lot of time. Oh, Ooh, command go grab! The command grab straight into it. It's over. Oh. oh. Okay. Got cancel seat. Blow back. Oh, no. and wise guy. Nervous jump. Again, and El Rosa.
put down into loser's bracket, but he still has a chance here. Right. Okay. Yeah. Goes to the stick. Yep. And Rosa again, calm, collected, definitely looking forward to it. So, like I said, this is what we were talking about, man. When it comes down to the system, all that really matters is, again, how your fundamentals work. Because this game is super fundamentally based. Yes. And at the same time, you have to be very, very aware. You've got to pick your spots. We saw in Wise Guy's last match, he got the overhead, went for the no maximal cancel. But, again, because he was no, because he had the nerves, he went for the overhead again. And there was no way that was going to connect for him. Mm. Nice. I've exactly. actually tried this stick uh, oh, yeah. while playing a tournament here. The uh -huh. buttons are very, very good. I'm not entirely sure. What the, I heard they were the higher boosted buttons, and they were very, very smooth. I uh, liked them a lot. Okay, I like uh, but the stick itself is very. Actually, this is one of my favorite sticks because I know they had the white version, not the KOF version, and that one right. was just very good. Had a good weight onto it, and I just liked the feel of it. So, if you guys like the feel of it, and you also wanted, the, you know, this exclusive design. You know, also official PlayStation license. Yes. Product, you know, so. Yes, sir. Uh, Afrodyne, you know, at Afrodynamic, all one word. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So yes, pre you could also, you know, you can order this at Amazon. You could also order this, order this on their Hori site. Yep. So you know, and I think I'm pretty sure Atlas, all, uh, every now and then, or SNK does put it on their Twitter. So you know, you should be following those guys. Oh, should, yeah. Again, seriously, you should be following everyone that has something to do with KOF 14 right now. Mm -hmm. No, if you're not, you're kind of slacking. I'm not going to lie here. But the fact of the matter is, you have your opportunity. Atlas, they've done a great job bringing this game you know, to the West. Mm -hmm. I cannot thank them enough. You know, SNK, they've had their ups and downs. You know, yeah. Uh, no, it's uh, like this on the back of my shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I again. I right. it again. It was so no, just the phonetics thing. That's all. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say no with them. I'm just glad that everybody has been added the opportunity to play this game. You know, we're going to have the freedom to play this game. And I cannot wait to see how this game evolves. I can't.